against pitching at a 2.49 and the third most strikeouts by any major league one through five like crew. So like ERA, man, we got. I know ERA, but uh, Markham and Grinky's home starts with 29 wins and they had a 3.67 home ERA, which mm -hmm. isn't great, but. Yeah, Grinky yeah, at home compared to Grinky on the road is crazy. This is true. Oh, crazy. Big difference. All right, now we're going to check out that UWL promo, so stay tuned. <laughs> L Fact University of Wisconsin Lacrosse is ranked the number two college in the Midwest. UW Lacrosse is ranked number 34 for out of state students among public universities nationwide. UW Lacrosse is ranked as one of the most military friendly schools in the nation. is number 24 among medium colleges and universities for Peace Corps volunteers. Hey, we're back. Uh, so, Ryan Baron got his uh, trophy the other day for the MVP. Mm -hmm. Do you think he'll win another one in the next five years, ten years, probably oh, five? He's definitely. Yeah, he's yeah. Still? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think after the we were talking about before this whole steroid incident, um, I don't know. He's, I think he he's ready to. Come, he was P O. What about that entire yeah, he thing? Was, he I think oh he's yeah. ready to come back with a vengeance and prove everybody wrong. And well, I don't know. So I and definitely in the next five years. Oh yeah. Definitely. And he's. I, I don't think he's even peaked yet. I mean. I don't know if he has either. I think he still has. I mean, he's got a mega tricks. And if it's, and if he's not, I mean, and if he's. Still, he's got three home runs already this year, so he's on pace to do pretty much what he did last year. So I can't, I mean, especially without Fielder, he's definitely our most valuable player. So I think but do hands you, down, hands down. Him. Do you think that the um, the addition of Fielder helped Braun because like they knew they either had to pitch to Braun and let him tear him up, or they had to pinch the Prince and let him. So like, pick yeah, your I poison. Suppose. Now it's all on Braun, and I mean, Aramis Ramirez, he's been an all right player for yeah. the Cubs, but he's no Prince Fielder. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't like. We had definitely the dynamic duo with Fielder and Braun. It was a good time year. to be a Brewers fan. Well, Braun and Field also again. too. I remember <laughs> that. All right. So, uh, first round of the draft is on Thursday. The two picks are Andrew Luck, and then number two will be Robert Griffin. Of those two, if you were going to start a franchise, would you? Who would you pick? Yeah. Oof. Um, oh, that's a good. I mean, one. they're both great picks. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I I'm worried about Andrew Luck because he is so hyped. And um, R.G. Griffin is, uh, I think he can use his athleticism his first couple years as a rookie mm -hmm. to do well, kind of like how Cam Newton is. Mm -hmm. And uh, Luck, he's pretty much like a system quarterback. And right. He is, but he does have a little bit of athletic ability. Yeah, he can well, play. he's young, but I mean, uh, they have Reggie Wayne as a receiver. I think he'd be a good thing. But I, I don't know. I think I'm going to go uh, Robert Griffin just because of his pure athleticism. I agree. I mean, R.G. 3 has the... Uh, Everyone's looking for the next Cam Newton because the NFL right. is yeah. a copycat league. But I mean, RG three has the size to back it up, and the numbers and and the smart smarts too. Yeah, he's yeah. Really he smart. seems very smart, very well educated. It seems like he knows a good head on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. But enough to decide that you know, hey, I'm gonna just get my last year of school, go into the draft because I believe I can do it. I, right. I think too, you're gonna see a lot more out of him. Luck is a great quarterback, but yeah, eventually you know. I think he'll be better. But I think right now Robert Griffin, you gotta go with. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, Bo Ryan, the, he had this a, a recent spat with a transfer who wanted to transfer away to from another school <coughs> from the Badgers to either Iowa State uh, or yeah, Florida. Because I believe he was he was Mr. Iowa basketball, so he either wanted to go to Iowa or Florida. And Bo Ryan was having none of it. Do you think Bo <laughs> Ryan was out of line by telling a kid where he can and can't go to school? No. Well, I I don't know. First off, I guess the whole story it was like the kid tried to contact Bo while he was on vacation and like so he couldn't get a hold of him yep. and then there's this odd mess about like who contacted who and who talked to who and then so by the time Bo Ryan got back 
he was hearing all this stuff about this kid wanting to transfer. It's Jared, is it Utoff? Is that Utoff? Yeah. Utoff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So I, I'm, I think it's just blown out of the water. I think much. I, I like it. I mean, keep your, you want to keep your player, I, don't I, you? Yeah, I mean, I like that he's fighting for his it's keep not his illegal. players, but at the same it. time, the kid wanted to transfer to an ACC school, and Bo Ryan said no to that, and that's way far. I can understand yeah. not wanting to go to the Big Ten or Iowa State because those right. are close and they affect recruiting, but I mean, went the kid Florida, wants to like, be the end of the yeah. world. I don't know. All right. So, Bubba Watson, recent Masters winner. Is he uh, the United States' next golf superstar? Could he be the new Tiger? Or is old Tiger still good enough to be new Tiger? Uh, I think old Tiger still got some kick in him. I know, like, he had a pretty rough time after the whole scandal. Right. But, yeah. I don't know. I think he could, he could. He's a good enough golfer that he can come back and bring it back. And, like, yeah. I don't know, Bubba... He does have four major wins so far. He's, he's young, so he's doing, too. He's yeah, pretty he's clutch. Like 30 or two yeah, he's down. very young. He just won in a Kinda Masters. Like other Watson that used to golf, Tom, Tom Watson. So, I don't know. I mean, he's got the name like Tiger, as we were talking <laughs> about. Cool you got to have, have that cool you name. To be a good golfer, yeah, you got to have cool All right, name. so no team has signed on for the seventh season of Hard Knocks this year. Uh, the Falcons just recently turned it down, and before that it had been on the Jets and the Buccaneers. If you were uh, a GM or in charge of an NFL team, would you want Hard Knocks to come into your training camp? Why not? Uh, like, I don't know. Unless you're hiding something. No. Yeah, yeah, right? What like do you have to hide? It, dep yeah. it depends what kind of team you are. I think a team like the Colts, who are starting out um, from scratch right now, and Jim Merce is kind of a Twitter... Uh, diva? Cr diva craze, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't use the word I was thinking. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, the, I think the Colts would be a good team. They're starting from scratch. They can't do any worse, and I think it would be kind of good for Andrew Luck's development kind of to get used to the limelight a little bit yeah. before this actual season right. starts. So I mean, I, wherever Luck Colts goes, he's going to be surrounded by cameras, yeah. and I'm, might as well get him so used to it. Who right. turned them down? The Falcons. The Falcons just recently turned them down. Yeah, they're boring. Before that, they okay. were looking you know. for, at the Jets, and the Jets said no. Well, there's so much publicity around the Jets already with yeah. Tebow going to the there's team. Only so, and, exactly. So I don't think they need any more oh, no. anything <laughs> around that team. It's going to be nuts in New York. I agree, though. I think Andrew Luck would it would help the show, HBO show, mm -hmm. and it would help Luck. Like, and it would help the team. I think so. Yeah, I mean, publicity is good publicity, and having Luck. Oh yeah. Fan base. I mean, Indianapolis has a very. Indianapolis, they go fan. one in fifteen again. It doesn't matter. It's a good a series. It'll be team. good TV. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you can't always win them all, and you can't always be a great franchise. Definitely. What do we got next? Uh, I believe we have uh, 2012 Olympics in Summer London. Summer Olympics. They start. Up. In 93 days. 93 already? 93 days, but who's counting? Yeah. So, Only you. are you going to play? Do you, uh, do you excited about the Olympics, or are they just kind of something that come and go every four years and you might read about it? Yeah, I, they're kind of boring. I don't know. I mean, there's some. No patriotism? There's, there's always yeah. some cool sports stories with. Oh, I mean, I love America, but I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. Usually it's not, I don't know, that exciting. Less like. Something cool happens, like Andrew Rock being there or something. But. I don't know. I um I was really into the Summer Olympics in 2008. Loved it. I like remember watching the whole Michael Phelps fiasco, like that one. Right. Yeah. One you know I mean that one race where you, by the millisecond touched oh. the wall. I you know I mean I don't know. I get it is something that I forget about until every two years. I watch this Winter Olympics too. Yeah. And I kind of forget about it, but when it comes up again, I'm like, oh yeah, exactly. the Olympics are coming. And then I do to know, like I don't, oh, I need to sit down and watch the Olympics. Yeah. I'll put them, you know, I'll turn it on when I'm home. Kind All right, of well, like we have it. our first rant. Zach, would you like to rant first? I know you had some yeah. topics. Yeah, um, Tim Tebow, I mean, <laughs> he, he makes, I mean, enough about Tim Tebow, folks. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he has his own life decisions, and there's now a bounty online, um, a million-dollar bounty to try to steal his, um, oh, well, as we say, innocence here <laughs> in the TV world. But, uh, yeah, I, I think leave him alone. Let him play football. He's a bad player, but he's a good person. Agreed. Leave him alone. Agreed. I'm going to talk about the Saints bounty. I know it's been talked about a lot. I just find this to be really um, kind of almost really selfish, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I just find yeah. it really stupid. Um, you know, I mean, if you have a good team, why do you need to, and they're all getting paid a lot, why do you need to give them more privileges to hurt other people? Indeed. I don't get it. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for watching today's Sports Talk Live. Uh, we'll all uh, see you next time. Thank you.